me introduce myself. My name is Mike, and uh, is it Jevin? And it's Jamana, Jamara, and Mark Eden. Hi, how are you today? I know I'm not Pastor Stacy, but I'm filling in for her while she's away. And hopefully I can share with you a pretty cool thing that uh, I, uh, I learned along the way. I always heard this, uh, this thing in church where we're talking about the, the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Have you heard this before? And we understand the Father is who? God. And the Son is? Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is? Exactly. That's how I've always been, too. I'm like, hmm, what is this Holy Spirit? I'm going to try to explain a little bit about it today for you so it will be clearer. And uh, it helps clear it for me, too. So I brought a few props. And... Uh, we get this a little information from this here. I'm going to let you hold on to the mic. And would you read that? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, God is faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Oh. So that's a whole bunch of, that's a list, right? That's a list of things of what the Spirit is. Are those things you can see? When, uh, yeah, let me, let me see if I can find my paperwork so I don't know off script here. Because I had your name on the list there, too, and I was like, oh, man. Anyways, I would like to share with you three of these identities, which I've done. I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit. So, you know, let me get to my phone So we're going to stop by asking you, all right, what does somebody, how does somebody get to know you? And what do they know about you? Is there any characteristics about you that people say? Their name? They know your name. That I'm crazy. That you're crazy? Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. I was going to say, Jevin is a good listener. Jamara cares for people. Does that sound good? Yeah. Uh, and Mark Eating is still growing, but he's, he's got powerful energy. The energy he has, if it could only be bottled up, it could probably help a small city have a lot of light. Okay. So there's a couple of things that we can see in ourselves. And other people see about us, but they're not things that you can't touch, right? They're just things that are, are about us, but they're, not, they're kind of invisible. So we're getting to know a little bit more about the Holy Spirit this way. Jesus once said, the Helper, or the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember that I, what I have told you. So Jesus, after he leaves, when he died on the cross, he says, I'm not going to leave you guys alone. I'm going to send to you a helper. And these are the things that are on this list right here. That's how you know that Jesus is working inside you. So the first thing we're going to do is go, okay, what's love? Love is something you can see, right? Yeah. So what happens when you come into the room and you look for your parents? Your mom, where is she? She's over there. And you knew exactly, right? You knew where to find her. So when you go into a room, and the room is crowded with people. What's the first thing you're looking for is mom, right? And so you know you got someone that you care about, that, that, tr that you trust, and someone that trusts you, and you can immediately go to them. That's, that's, that's a great definition of love. Because once you know that you have somebody that you can find, like a friend, that makes you feel a good sense of feeling of comfort inside, right? The comforter. See how that works? God has sent something in you that you can't see, but it's that love. It's automatic. And things you can't see are pretty cool when it comes to God, right? The other thing I was going to mention is uh, joy. Here I'm going to use this little uh, demonstration. Just say this is you, everything about you. And what's, what are some things that bring you joy in life? Family. What else brings you joy in life? What was that? Your hobbies. Your hobbies kind of give you some joy. What else gives you joy in life? Friends. Oh, this cup is getting full. What else brings you joy? Mark Eden, when he comes running into a room, does he, does he give you joy? You, all right. When you see your mom in that crowded room, does she bring you joy? All right. What else brings you joy? Trustees are getting nervous, but I'm going to keep going. Trustees clean up the house. <laughs> Anyways, for example, when I see a beautiful sunrise, that brings me joy. 
or after a long winter's year, you know, season with snow and the spring comes and you see flowers and green leaves and birds singing, that brings me joy. There's a lot of things that keep bringing you joy, right? So what's one another good way of, of having this joy? Once you know that you're filling up with joy, sometimes it's good to share your joy with someone else. Don't keep it all to yourself. Joy is something that you can't see, but you can always pass it on to someone else. So joy is one of those things, it's again, you can't see it, the comforter. He has come in and he's caused some things to happen. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got love, joy, we have peace. What's peace? We have a good example of it from last Sunday. Did you come here last Sunday? Why? A lot of people didn't come here last Sunday, right? Because the rain was like crazy, right? It was coming down so hard you could barely see outside. You know, and the water was flowing and everything like that. What was that sense of peace that came over to you once you saw the rain stop? You saw the sun. And what did that do for you? Happy. You got happy? Yeah. I, again, another emotion you can't see. The comforter has come in again and said, look, even through the storms, don't worry about it. I got you. You know, imagine, imagine what Noah was going through when the rain kept coming down for 40 days and that dove came back with, us, with a branch in his mouth saying, hey, I found some land. Ah, oh, peace. Peace has come. So sometimes we have to go through the storms. Storms of life will come. It's not always coming in rain. It comes in some hard times. But to know that the comforter is there to give you peace, that you'll be, you'll be all right when you get to the other side of that storm. This is one of my favorite ones and one of the most difficult for all of us patience. Have you experienced patience before? And how is it? Is it sometimes the long wait? Is it worth it in the end? Most of the time? Yeah. Oh, this is, a, is an example of patience. I'm going to have Carol kind of share with you a little bit. I've got this uh, cup with soil in it. And I've got these seeds. And if you read this, the package on the back, it'll explain how to plant the seeds, right? Do we have patience when it comes down to planting sometimes? Do you want, I'm going to have you open this up. And uh, we're going to put a couple of seeds in that soil. Yeah, just rip it. That's okay. There you go. There's a lot of seeds in there. And this is a great example of patience. And here, I'm going to have you put a little bit in there. Just one or two, not too many. Are they coming out? Can you see them? Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, now it says to put it in about maybe about an eighth, half inch into the soil. So we're going we're gonna to push it in there. We're going to throw some dirt on it. And what, is, what does a plant need? It needs water. Well, we'll give it a little bit of water. And what else does it need? It needs sun. Well, I don't have the sun right here, but I'll give it some light. Okay. And, uh, okay, any time now, this thing's going to come up, right? What else do we need? Ah, oh, patience. You mean it's not going to come up immediately? I'm going to have to wait? Oh, not 50 days. Oh, my goodness. Patience is a tough thing. But it's one of my favorite things because why? Because once the patience is done and that flower grows, look at the picture on that, on that, on that uh, seed package. Look what's going to come up in the end if we did it right. Have a little patience. Hey, guys, would you join with me in a word of prayer about just a few of the things that we learned about the Holy Spirit today? Father God, you are always with us. You are definitely in our hearts. You are, we have made a home, and it's for you. And we pray that we always keep it welcoming to you. We know that you fill us with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, and the many things that come with everything that you have done for comforting us. Father, when we leave this room, may we know this list. And may it be in our hearts. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now don't go away. I got a little gift I want you to hold on to. This is a memory. Of, uh, I don't know. Do you have stuff on your refrigerator? Can I hold it up sometimes? On that is the list of things we talked about today. Plus more. Okay. And that way, if you're ever wondering what that list is, you can measure yourself to it to see if you're following God's perfect plan. And see if you were loving today, you're showing joy today, that kindness within your heart. It's just a good little list to keep in our, in our hearts to keep reminding ourselves what it is that happened in us.
Amen.